Now, an other very important term which we need to explain for the understanding of the, the super pavement design known as the primary control sieve. So, so, it is defined as the sieve defining the break point between fine and coarse graded mixture. You know, sometimes your combined aggregate gradation is having the more coarser material. Sometimes it is having the more finer material. So, it is going to make the distinction that which one is the fine and which one is the coarse. That's why the sieve defining the break point between fine and coarse graded mixture for each nominal maximum size of the aggregate. Now, over here, let me tell you how it will be. If the combined curve curve pass under The PCS it will be considered a coarse graded. As coarse graded. B if it pass over. Over PCS, is considered a fine grade. Now, what is our primary control scene? How we are going to find out it? So, let me make one table, over there you will be able to understand more clearly about uh, this primary control sieve. For example, I have one table MAS, then I have N MAS, then I have Primary control C P C S and at the end percentage passing P C S. It's very important point. I am not going to write on our table because my area of concern is only twelve point five which is my nominal maximum size of the aggregate. Over here, let me assume that I am using 25 maximum size of the aggregate. Then I am using 19. Then I am using 12.5. Over here, I have 19, my nominal maximum size of the aggregate. Over here, I have 12.5. And over here, I have 9.5. Now let me tell you one thing. Uh, just for your understanding, how we are going to define PCS. Its answer is, I will just write down in the bracket that our NMAS 
is multiplied by factor 0.22. Keep it as a note point. When n m a s is multiplied by 0.22, whatever the sieve near to our mixture line sieve is available, that will be considered as our PCS. If we are going to multiply it, it will not come 4.75. It will be near to this, but you will accept because, for example, after multiplication, you are going to get 4.6. But 4.6 is not a sieve. Whatever the sieve available given in the super pave mix design, the nearest most sieve available, available you will have to use it. It is this one. Similarly, if we will go by this one, its answer will come out to be 2.36. Because after multiplication, you may get 2.50, but 2.5 is not sieve. Sieve is this one. Similarly, after this multiplication, you may get 2.12, but 2.12 is not a sieve. C is 2.36. So this is the fundamental formula for getting these sieves according to the available nearest most sieve. Now we have to find out this percentage passing. Very interesting. This PCS this PCS will be divided by this. I will give you one example. 4.75 divided by 25 whole raised to power 0.45 into 100. Whatever the value, it's 47 value coming. Whatever the value coming, it is the 47. So this 47 is uh, for this. When I make this calculation over here, its value comes out to be 39. Similarly, I, when I make a calculation for this one, its value comes out to be also 47. So, so this is the general formula which you have to learn it. This is also the general formula. It is very difficult to find in some books, but keep this thing in mind. It is equal to this giving you the nearest value. And when you will apply this formula, that uh, PCS number C divided by the maximum size of the aggregate A200 is going to give us this passing percentage. Clear it? Now, these points I have to put on the maximum density line. There I will show that your material which has formed the combined aggregate gradation it is either having the Fine material characteristics are coarse material characteristics, just for two men only. Now, I will go to this uh, maximum density line. Just for your information, these are the control points. Like this one. Now, my nominal maximum size of the aggregate is 12.5. For this, my PCS is equal to 2.36. So I am at this point. Now this is my sieve. Now another 2.36. For this sieve, the percentage given you over here is 39%. Now I will show you, when my combined aggregate gradation
is going to pass like this one. Now you see my aggregate gradation is above the 39. It means more fine material, it means more material is passing. So this type of the curve which is above my sieve, it will be known as fine graded. Fine in nature. On the other hand, if I draw an other curve, this green one, it is passing under PCS. As per our discussion, this will be given the title course graded. Why I have explained this to you? Because whenever we will make the brand of the aggregate, there we will mention that our curve is of which type? Either it is going to having the trend fine or it is having the trend coarse. So that is why understanding of the primary control C was very very mandatory, which I have explained to you over here. If you cannot understand, please write down your comments and I will try my best to give you the most suitable and appropriate answer. Thank you for seeing me.